Picture this, the year is 1848 and whispers of gold discoveries in California are starting to make waves across the United States. The dawn of the gold rush era was upon us and the American landscape was about to change dramatically. In the heart of this story, we find two men, James Marshall and John Sutter. Marshall, a carpenter, was working on a sawmill for Sutter when he spotted something shiny in the American River. Little did he know this seemingly insignificant discovery would trigger a massive migration and permanently alter the course of history. John Sutter, a Swiss pioneer, had established Sutter's Fort in the Sacramento Valley, making him one of the most influential figures in the region. When he heard of Marshall's discovery, he tried to keep it quiet, fearing it would spark chaos and disrupt his agricultural plans. But as we all know, secrets this big are hard to keep. The news of gold initially met with disbelief. It was too extraordinary, too fantastic to be true. Gold just lying there in the riverbeds, free for the taking? The skepticism was palpable. But despite the initial hesitation, the whispers grew louder, and the rumor of gold was too tempting to ignore. From the East Coast to the far reaches of the globe, the whispers turned into a roar. The prospect of striking it rich, of changing one's fortune overnight, was a powerful draw. It ignited a spark of hope and ambition in the hearts of thousands, propelling them to pack up their lives and head west. As word of gold spread, the disbelief soon turned into a frenzy. The dream of wealth was so vivid, so tangible, it was as if you could reach out and touch it. The skeptics were soon drowned out by the clamor of the gold-hungry masses, and thus, the stage was set for one of the most significant events in American history, the Gold Rush. News of gold didn't remain a secret for long, and by 1849, a wave of gold seekers, or 49ers, as they were called, started to flood California. This rush was not just limited to the United States. People from as far as Europe, Australia, and even China caught wind of the golden promise and embarked on a journey to the land of opportunity. Two main routes were taken by these 49 ears. The overland route was a grueling journey across the North American continent, often on foot or by wagon. It was a test of endurance, with treacherous terrains, harsh weather conditions, and the ever-looming threat of disease and starvation. Many lost their lives on this trail, their dreams of gold buried along with them in the vast plains and towering mountain ranges. The sea route, on the other hand, was no less daunting. It involved a long and perilous journey by ship, either around Cape Horn at the southernmost tip of South America or across the Isthmus of Panama and then up the Pacific coast. These voyages were fraught with the dangers of storms, shipwrecks, and deadly diseases like malaria and yellow fever. Upon reaching California, the 49 ers found themselves living in hastily set up mining camps. These were far from comfortable, with meager shelters, poor sanitation, and a scarcity of basic necessities. Life in these camps was tough, with the miners working long hours in the mines, braving the elements, and often living on a diet of mere bread and beans. But the promise of gold was a powerful motivator. It was this dream the possibility of unearthing a fortune overnight that fueled their determination. Despite the backbreaking work, the inhospitable living conditions, and the ever-present danger, these gold seekers persevered. Despite the hardships, the hopes of striking it rich kept the 49ers going, forever changing the landscape of California. The gold rush was not just about gold. It reshaped California and had far-reaching impacts on the entire country. Indeed, the allure of gold drew a massive influx of people to California, causing a significant population boom. This sudden surge of hopeful prospectors, known as 49 ERs, transformed California from a relatively sparsely populated region to the most populous state within a span of a few years. The promise of gold brought people from all walks of life, all corners of the globe, converging in one place with a shared dream of striking it rich. This population boom had another profound effect, the birth of new towns. Sprouting up along the rivers and creeks where gold was discovered, these towns were a testament to the human spirit, ambition, and the collective dream of prosperity. They were vibrant hubs of activity, where people from diverse cultural backgrounds came together, contributing to a rich and dynamic social fabric. One such city that underwent a dramatic transformation was San Francisco. Once a small settlement, the gold rush turned it into a bustling metropolis almost overnight. The city's population grew exponentially, its harbor teeming with ships, 
its streets echoing with the cacophony of commerce. But the impact of the gold rush was not just demographic or economic, it had political implications too. The rapid population growth and the economic potential of California caught the attention of the federal government. In 1850, just two years after the start of the gold rush, California was admitted into the Union as a free state, tipping the balance in the ongoing national debate over slavery. This move played a significant role in the lead-up to the American Civil War. The gold rush, although primarily an economic event, played a crucial role in shaping the socio-political fabric of America. The echoes of the gold rush can still be felt today in the diverse and vibrant culture of California, a testament to a time of dreams, ambition, and transformative change. By the mid-1850s, the easy-to-reach gold had been mined and the gold rush started to wane. The once glittering promise of easy wealth began to lose its luster. This was not a sudden end, but rather a slow, painful decline. The golden rivers and streams that once teemed with nuggets and flakes of gold started to dry up, and the miners were left to face a harsh reality. The individual miners, the so-called 49 ears, had to adapt to these changing times. Many of them were disillusioned. They had left their homes and families, traveled thousands of miles with dreams of striking it rich, only to find that the golden dream was not as easy to grasp as they had imagined. Some returned home, their pockets lighter and their spirits crushed. Others, however, refused to give up. They moved on to other areas, seeking new opportunities, new dreams. As the individual miners moved on, commercial mining companies moved in. These companies had the resources to dig deeper, to mine the gold that was out of reach for the individual miner. They brought in heavy machinery, hydraulic mining equipment, and large labor forces. The landscape of the gold fields changed dramatically. The days of the lone miner panning for gold by the river were over. The end of the gold rush brought about a shift in the social and economic landscape of California. Cities grew, populations diversified, and the state's economy, which had been so heavily reliant on gold, had to diversify. The glittering dream of gold had faded, but in its place a new dream was born, a dream of a prosperous and diverse state. The gold rush may have ended, but its impact was indelible, leaving a lasting legacy that can still be seen today. The gold rush was a defining moment in American history, a period of mass migration, economic boom, and profound societal changes. We've journeyed through the heart of the gold rush era, tracing its origins, its peak, and its eventual decline. The discovery of gold at Sutter's Mill in California in the late 1840s sparked a gold fever that swept across not just the United States, but the entire globe. This, in turn, led to one of the largest mass migrations in human history, as hundreds of thousands of people, known as 49ers, poured into California with dreams of striking it rich. This influx of settlers transformed California, a then sparsely populated region, into a bustling hub of economic activity. Towns sprung up overnight and the population soared, prompting California's admission into the Union as the 31st state. But the gold rush was more than just a quest for wealth. It was a transformative event that redefined societal norms, challenged traditional hierarchies, and forever altered the demographics of the American West. Yet like all booms, the gold rush couldn't last forever. By the mid-1850s, the easily accessible gold was largely exhausted, leading to the decline of the gold rush. This decline, however, didn't spell an end to the spirit of enterprise that the gold rush had kindled. Many of the 49ers, who didn't strike it rich in gold, found success in other ventures, laying the foundation for the diverse and vibrant economy of modern-day California. The gold rush era, a period of dreams, despair, and discovery, remains an enduring symbol of the American spirit of adventure and enterprise. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such intriguing historical insights. And that, dear viewers, is the tale of the gold rush, a glittering chapter in the annals of American history. This era, more than just a period of frantic gold mining, was a significant time of rapid growth and change. It was a time when the dream of prosperity reached fever pitch, when the promise of fortune drew people from all walks of life to the Golden State, radically transforming its social and economic landscape. It's fascinating to think of how this ripple effect of a single gold discovery could create such a monumental impact. The gold rush era serves as a shining testament to human ambition and the lengths we're willing to go in pursuit of a dream. 
So I encourage you delve deeper, dig beyond the surface. There are countless stories, countless nuggets of information waiting to be unearthed. Thank you for joining us on this journey back in time. Do subscribe to the channel for more such captivating historical narratives. And until next time, keep exploring history.